Haha, -ha, third day of the cutting vlogs. Not even cutting vlogs, not vlogs. Cutting series. All right, so what we got here is the workout edit. It's gonna be showing you all the workouts I did for the five days, I believe it was, because I did repeat some of them. But I'm gonna go in depth. I'm gonna list the sets and reps right here or right here, one to two. I don't know how this is gonna upload. And then I'll walk you through it as I'm in the gym. I'm gonna be down here in little corner talking to you guys as well and giving you little tips and tricks on what I did and what I should have done better. But let's get into this. Booyah. All right, one workout. We're gonna do four sets of 15 push-ups. Not a lot, but you just wanna get some blood pumped into your chest. Okay guys, nothing special here. This is very simple. These are just push-ups. You're gonna make sure you don't go up all the way relieving tension on your chest, but you're gonna go up almost all the way. Therefore, you're going back, forth, back, forth. Four sets of 15, easy, easy. All right, next workout, incline press. Five sets, 25, 20, 15, 15, 25. What you're doing with this, you're starting lightweight and you're slowly going up in weight. Again, this is for cardio workout, so you're going for more reps, as you can see. But you're also gonna finish with kind of a burnout with the 25 reps again. Go up a little bit. You're starting with 25, finishing with 25. You're starting from 25 should be more weight, should be less weight than you're finishing 25, if that makes sense. All right, straight from that, we're gonna hop right into the dumbbell press. You're not gonna wanna take a lot of breaks between these, just so you can keep the blood pump and your muscles warm. For the dumbbell press, going 15, 15, 10, 10, and then 15. Again, you're not going for super heavy weight. You're gonna focus on good form and proper squeeze at the end. From there, we're gonna be going into dumbbell flies. I cannot stress enough how much you wanna go back as far as you can, opening up your chest as much as possible. This is gonna help work all of the chest and not only the inside. From there, we're gonna go ahead into cable flies, similar to the bench flies, but these allow you to keep a little bit more concentration because the cables are tied to something to say the least. Four sets, 25 reps each. Do not slack on this, guys. 25 sets, 25 reps, excuse me. Make sure every single one is quality. Do not cut corners because you're getting tired near the end. Again, don't take a break. Go straight to incline bench press. If you need to get water, get water. Incline bench press, five sets, 25 reps each. Again, let me pause this real quick so I'm talking to you guys as I'm watching this, watching this, wherever you guys are watching it. 25 reps, okay, that is quite a bit, so I'm keeping the weight very light as you can see here. Do not cut corners. Don't cut them. If you need to take a breather, take a breather. Put the weight down, say you're at 15 reps and you're like, all right, I can't finish this. Take a breather and then go ahead and finish it. You're not going to move on to the next set, you're still doing the first set of 25 reps. Take the breather, then continue, 16, 17, 18, or whatever you're at. All right, once that's done, that is our chest workout. Again, I emphasize, no breaks. Get your water, if you need to take a breather, fine. But take as little breaks as possible. This is gonna make sure that you create, you're gonna build up a sweat quite a bit. After this, abs. You can't touch this. These ab curls, super helpful. Do 10 in the middle, 10 uh, swivel to the left, 10 swivel to the right, and then 10 in the middle again, and you're gonna be doing four sets of that. And then, I'm just call these leg ups, whatever. These help quite a bit as well. Make sure you do not swing when you're doing these. Five sets of 25 each. Again, if you need to take a break, take a break. There's no big deal. But once you go from your 15, once you, if you take a break at 15, go ahead and finish your 25. Don't move to the next set. All right, guys, All right, guys finish off the workout. 20 minutes of stairs. I know I said 30 minutes, but I ran this morning, and so I'm gonna go ahead and just do 20 minutes. See if it focus on my face first. 20 minutes of stairs. Not gonna cut that off at all. Get a good sweat going, get a little bit of cardio in there to finish it off. That's it. Find a way to move your focus from the gym and from the cardio onto something else. For me, I'm not a huge fan of stairs. I like it more than running, but I still don't love it. I don't know anyone, I mean, I do know people love cardio, freaking weirdos. Have a way to focus your mind on something else. For me, it's gonna be the office. I can watch, and literally, one episode of The Office is 20 minutes long, sometimes 22 minutes long. I will be doing the stairs for the entire time and that'll help me not only stop thinking about how much I don't like the stairs, but it'll help me kind of have comedy relief watching Michael Scott and Dwight and stupid stuff like that. Find your distraction and then bring it while doing stairs. All right. All right, finish up the 20 minutes of cardio stairs. Mix it up every day. 
What should we do about that? It's a fox. It's literally a fox. All right, so we finished up the 20 minutes of cardio. So I'll meet you guys tomorrow for the back workout. I'll do a tutorial on that. I'm gonna go home and have my protein. All right, guys, we're back into this. It's back day. So what we're gonna start off with is some dumbbell rows. I like to start off with individual jump dumbbell rows. And if you notice here, I'm letting it swing a little bit further than normal, just because that allows me to activate the entire lat instead of just stopping it straight down and coming straight up to 90. I'll extend a little bit, let it swing a little bit forward, and then I'll swing it right back, keeping that momentum. From there, we're gonna go ahead on to the seated cable rows. Personal favorite of mine for sure. What I do personally here, switch around. I'm gonna let myself pull forward, as you can see here, a little bit more than usual because that allows me to activate my lower back as well. Not only my lats, but my lower back. Five sets, 25, 20, 15, 15, and then 20. And so you're gonna be slowly up in the weight, but you're not gonna be doing heavy weight where you can't control the contraction in the back. After that, quarter deadlifts. Why do I do quarter deadlifts as compared to regular deadlifts? I don't know, because I do regular deadlifts too. I prefer quarter deadlifts though because that allows me to focus completely on the lower back. I can up the weight and still, all you're doing is you're gonna be a slight squeeze at the end and then drop down and then come up. No breaks again for this workout. Making sure you can build up a nice sweat in order to get burn those calories. Up in the weight, nothing crazy. You're not gonna try to set new PRs here, guys. All right, after that wide light pulls, four sets, 25, 20, 15, and 20. Let it extend as far as you can. And then once you pull down, lean back slightly, about 11 degrees. This allows you to get that full um, contraction on your lats when you pull down. Again, not a lot of weight. Focus on reps and quality reps. Barbell lat pull variation. I've seen a couple guys do this, but not a lot. For me, I personally like it, but it's very hard because in my gym, we don't have a lot of grips that can go around the bar and I can utilize for the lat pulls. But we're gonna do five sets, 20 reps each. Again, not a lot of weight. For me, I try to let it extend as far down as possible. We're gonna be bent down almost at 90. I was going between 90 and probably like 120, honestly. But for me, I get rid of that grip and then I just honestly slipped my fingers in and I grabbed the weights itself and that allowed me to pull back quite a bit. From there we already got a quite a good burn on the lats so we're going to finish off with some cable lat pulls. Individual cable lat pulls. Again, extend as far as you can. Feel the lat stretching out and getting the micro tear to the muscle that you're looking for. Switch up the size, tw five sets, 25 reps on each side. Make sure you burn it out. This is your second to last workout I believe. Okay, added, after that is done, this is the last lat work. I'm gonna be cable bar lat pulls. This allows you to utilize the same things you're doing at the individual lat pulls, but you're gonna be pulling together just a nice finisher. Lightweight, focusing on a straight back. That's why I like wearing the belt. It helps keep my back straight, and then we can finish with that. Okay, next day. Main issue with this is the night before I went out and I ate way too much, and I actually went over my macro 700 calories, I believe. So my today was, an overall workout day, I decided to challenge myself and go for 250. I called it the 250 day. 250 of everything, full body workout. I started with some rows and went for, let me see here, burned almost 300 calories. Went 5,000 meters, so that was a good little workout. Kept the sweatshirt on so I could burn more calories. After that, we went to the cable flies. For the cable flies, again, this is 250, lightweight. Do not try to stress yourself out with like 40, 50 pounds because you wanna look big. Focus on proper extension and proper contraction. Five sets, 50 reps each. Completely doable. If you need to take a breather between the reps, do it, just get right back on it after you're done. All right, from there, hop right over. Machine lat pulls. I preferably love this one, particularly like this one, because when you pull down, it stretches it out even more, allowing you to work your lower lats. All right, Dylan, get out of the way. <laughs> 10 sets, 25 reps each. Get it done, lightweight. Focus on contraction, pulling down. Say the same stuff over and over again for each of these workouts. Cool new toy I had at the Blue Water Gym. I had not used this before, but I've seen it everywhere. I'm gonna be doing a dumbbell curls with the curl bar. I don't know what the technical term for that is. Lightweight, 20 pounds. 10 sets, 25 reps each. Do not, do not take a breather. Try to get those 25 sets in after one after another because that will help you burn, build up a sweat. I cannot talk today. Finishing up with some leg extensions, 10 sets of 25 reps each. I like to do these quickly. It allows a burning sensation to come up on my top quads. And as much as I hate it, I love it. From there, calf raises. 10 sets, 
25 reps each. Only 45 on there. Nothing crazy. Again, keep it consistent. Do not allow yourself to lose any stress or tension on those calves so you can get a maximum workout. Take it away. I'm gonna disappear for a second. Sweet. Thank you, Bruin Brandon. Back to the gym. All right, guys. Now that we finished that 250 of everything, which is actually a pretty good workout, uh, I'm gonna go marinate in the sauna for about 20 minutes. And get that sweat going up, and I'll meet you guys after. All right. So what's so special about today? Legs. Legs. And also, it's the last day of the vlog for cutting. This is going to be again a burner workout, more towards cardio. And I want to do 100 reps at 225. Sunday squats. Sunday squats, exactly. 100 reps, 225, and then we'll move on to hack squats and leg press Front and stuff squats. like that. But that's what we're going for today, and so we're gonna walk through that as usual. So yeah, let's get it started. Last day, I'm hyped. Okay, here we go. Squats, I love the one with squats. Today we decided to do 100 squats, 10 sets of 10. Begin with one ups, these weren't in the 10. Two sets, 25 reps each. Very lightweight, this is just gonna be 135. Make sure you go past 90, do not stop at 90 and call it a day. Adding weight, still a warm up, and two sets, remember. Again, right, break 90, just get right below this and then get right back up. Do not lose tension on your quads. Do not go all the way up and stand for a second. You need to go up and down. Once you get into, this is a little bit heavier for me, 225. For this, make sure they are quality reps. Get right down to 90 and then right up to 90, up. 10 sets each. All right, after that, half squats. I do not like these, I'm not gonna lie. The these are going straight to 90. I don't like to go too far below these because I feel like the tension is being taken off my quads and I'm getting too much pressure on my knees. Unneeded pressure, I don't have the best knees. But enough about that. We're gonna be doing 10 sets, 10 reps each. Easy, get it done, knock it out. Don't wanna hear complaints. All right, and then leg extensions. One of my personal favorites when it comes to leg day. Five sets, 10 reps each leg. You're gonna go one leg and then the other, get off, let your buddy work in, then go back to it. Don't cut any corners, keep a light weight, and keep tension on the quad when you're pulling up and letting down. From there forward, we're gonna do the leg, leg, uh, leg curls. Five sets of 20 reps each. I do not work my hamstrings enough, so unfortunately, this is definitely lacking in this area. I cannot do a lot of weight. But again, focus on curling it up, holding it for maybe a half a second, just something so you can feel the tension grow and then letting it back down. From there, finishing with weighted lunges. Four sets, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell you what to do. I did 20 lunges back and forth, so it's gonna be 10 there and then 10 back and make sure you go all the way down, let your knee barely touch it, then bring it back up. Take a step right in the middle and take like a one second breather and then go right out to the next one, making sure there are quality lunges. From there forward, we're gonna go ahead and work into the sled pushes, not the pulls. This you will definitely feel in your quads and your calves and your hands. It's just a great finisher workout to make sure you've really killed it that day. Four sets back and forth. We did not add, uh, gradually add weight. We kept, uh, I think it was like 300 pounds on there. Let me see, it's coming back. Bam, bam, yep, 300 pounds plus the sled. And that was that. That is a workout, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, comment down below. You can question me in my DMs on my Instagram here, if that's long enough, or here, if that's long enough. And then, anything else? I will Appreciate you guys watching. Let me know if you have any other video suggestions. I have a couple more in the works. Sorry it took so long to get these out, but I have been very busy creating some, some new stuff, new sources of revenue just to keep things interesting. I will be uploading a new video next week on a new topic and another one. I'm pretty excited about telling my story. And I also did a collab with another photographer slash videographer, one of my close friends and it turned out amazing. I already showed you guys that on the Instagram, but I'm gonna show you my YouTube viewers that as well. But thank you for watching. I will be releasing the total recap video tomorrow, and that'll be a little bit more on what my thoughts were, any tips for people that will try to do this, or things that I would have changed. But anyways, for today, you know how it goes. One, two, three, cue.